everybody this is Alex I'm here with my digital thermometer and so what I'm actually did here in my previous video was I plugged in this standard carbon panel sauna it's the same thing when you plug it in as actually turning the on button when you hit your thermostat in your sauna uh, this heat temperature gun uh, it's taken about four minutes at this point we're now at 145 degrees uh, this carbon panel normally gets this generation which is in about 90 percent of saunas plus uh, it gets to like 150 degrees, normally the surface temperature. Um, we're still waiting for it to warm up just a little bit more, but we're at 145 degrees here, if you can see that, and it's climbing a little bit. Now remember, the further you get away from that temperature of around 98 to 100 degrees, temperature of the body as well, your micron range falls to a certain extent from the peak wavelength hovering around 9.4. So as we saw in the previous video, we've pretty much gotten far away from 9.4 microns. Uh, and this draws the full watt density again. The same thing as turning on your sauna. It doesn't matter where your thermostat is. It doesn't matter if it's some fancy carbon system that they're claiming. All saunas will, all emitters will get to 9.4, but it'll already blow past that point and start to fall in micron range after five minutes. We're gonna hover somewhere around 145. You can, if you have your hand even out this far, about right here you can feel some warmth, uh, but it's generally very weak compared to like a ceramic emitter. And that's why you need so many of these to cover the walls, because they're very low wattage. They're very inefficient. You have a conversion of maybe 45 to maybe like 60% of the electricity actually converts to infrared. Big difference between that and uh, ceramic. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to illustrate the principle of that no matter where you set the thermostat, no matter what they claim, if there's a carbon in there, you're pretty much going to blow past 100 degrees and start to have a peak wavelength uh, that's definitely much lower than 9.4 microns. Thanks for watching.